Okay, that was one of our paranormals. Paranormal subscriber who said, don't forget that the shoes are behind your seat. You are thinking of me, people. Oh my. Yes, under the seat. What am I finding here? Cantor's menu. Oh, we'll go through that later. The memories. Oh, it was under the Jewish calendar. Beautiful Judaica through the ages. Well, let's see what's happening. I'm going to tell you what the numbers are for next year of this exact year. So let's go past July. Let's go. Oh, is it even going to go? It's not going to give us the September, right? Come on, give us one more. Oh, here it is, September. Uh, what are we? The third, right? It's a Friday today. You see, and I thought it was yesterday. And that's why my doctor was all worried because I was yelling, oh my God, DUIs, right? And he's going, where, where is he? But that can't, even if that was Los Angeles, it's not Friday. He wouldn't be running into those kind of DUIs situations. You know what I'm saying? He's, he just saw me like driving through Sherman Oaks there with maybe somebody's violin that didn't belong to me, right? Procured perhaps in some parking lot, all right? Somewhere by a gypsy. By the in and out by this place we call um, Bum Alley at Lax, right? Where I sell the um, placards to the Uber drivers. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I talking the wrong way? How would you like me to talk? Would it more like this? No, so there's the jacket. I'm going to put that on. Wonderful silver. It looks like some strange... It looks like the, what this car was supposed to be. Two years ago, something happened to this wonderful metallic, like there's only one of a kind. It looks black now. Yeah, I'm not auditing this car. The car's just falling apart. In front of my eyes, depreciating in value. Oh my God, I found the key fob. My car just appreciated in value by quite a bunch here. If I could find the other one, I could probably sell the car. Oh, this is wonderful. All right, we're putting that here. People, I'm putting the key fob with the special keychain with the hand that's showing a fist and it's pumping in the air going green party. We're putting a stop to this. Yeah, it's from the care center. Would you like one, people? It's part of my free merchandising. There'll be a classical punk records place at one point. It's probably on CD... Maybe, perhaps. You have to do your homework for this. It might be an org. It might be a net. There might be several of them. It might be bellalugosi.biz, maybe, or I am bellalugosi.com. It might say it's not ready yet, or it might say this is AOL and go to hell. No. Um, uh, I'm having a problem here. Can you tell me? the paranormal one who told me look behind the seats you will find those red shoes make sure you wear them see you guys didn't get even 33 you didn't get that detail right you heard about it you you knew what i was doing you knew i was searching for those shoes you knew how necessary it is in la every detail i said they're always staring at my feet does nobody wear flip-flops i kept asking that all up and down um Point Dume, right? So this is Malibu for India. In Malibu, it's this quaint little town. Lots of people who do, well, they, they say that they do um, these gag she TV shows. I know I'm trying to explain what it is, a sitcom. Sit down and write yourself uh, a comedy sketch for about 20 minutes. Go for it, come back, okay? And you'll tell me. All right, Paranormal. Thank you so much for catching that, that I really need the shoes, and you found them for me. Um, how do I take all the cat hairs off this wonderful red velvet? I don't know what animal <laughs> they use, but it was yummy, very yummy. But all of, um, all of fecal matters, uh, Kitty's uh, hair, all her white hair is all over. It does not look good. Any suggestions out there? Because Paranormal said she can only find me the duct tape, and she's saying it's not the right one. What do I need?
No, I'm sorry. Let me, I can't see you. Let me get to my other monitor. Hold on, I got my, uh, where did I put the keyboard? Where's the keyboard? Oh man, I left it in the kitchen. Oh. All right, I got my spare keyboard. Hold on, I gotta plug it in. Ah. All right, now. Oh, this is one of those new weird ones. Is this European? Where's the L? Does this not have an L? No, I don't understand these. Can you get one in French then? One that's easily transverted into Russian. No, you, want, you don't want to get the characters. Mandarin. Now you're bringing up the Mandarin because of the church thing. The evangelists. Evangelists free, right? We are, we're not going to see them anymore. They're free. All right, help me here. Where will I find this scotch tape that you're talking... I put it in the glove box yesterday when I was having my... my breakdown. Oh, I see why I had a breakdown. What is this toll roads of Orange County? Who was there? Who sent us there? Why am I being charged this? Oh. Oh, that's why I wanted to go to the hub. It wasn't for the Don't Be a Dick t-shirts. Oh, okay. Thank you, subscriber. Oh, look at this. Uh, oh, that's my... Look at that. They just gave me a AAA card. Well, look, we can probably have the, another jump start. All right, we're going to be partying in town. All right, so we've got jump starts. We've got... they got to bring at least a gallon of gas, I think. Right? Is that how that thing works? All right, but is, is this tape... All right, that's excellent. Hold on. And just put it on it, right? Like we use it. Or oh, like over someone's mouth. Yeah, like I'm making them stop talking. I'm trying to take away their first demand. Like what I put under my mask for extra protection. And people are like, I can't understand you. And I'm like, yeah, what's new, right? Wash your hands. Wash your thoughts. Maybe that'll change it. But you've already shook my hand several times. Saying, no, it's a fist bump. And I'm like, I don't know. It felt the same to me. Right? Felt the same as that other weird... Oh, where's the other shoe? Uh, hello, paranormal. I only found one red shoe. How is that possible? I put them together last night. No, I didn't do anything. Mm. No, I did one rock star. Yeah, I know. I just found out how much sodium... Oh, my God. Is everyone going to do... Just mad at me because of the trader joke. You know, I'll just start doing the Whole Foods thing again, making fun of it. And everyone who goes in there, right? And that's not going to be happy, even for, like, South Park, right? Which one? The one the one about living in the South? Yeah, that one. No, the good one, the cartoon. Well, the, I don't know if the other one's good or bad. I just didn't understand it, right? That's how you know, hey, I'm not sure if this comedy is for my market. Right? Like Lyft. I'm not sure if this way that they're showing me just 80 miles from here, when I see their fellas, like I see people from L.A. and their mams come, and their missuses um, and their mistresses all coming down, all hanging out at our bum alley down by the Santa Barbara airport where Thomas Grant, here it's for the game, took off. That's where he left people who drove him to this tiny little airport. Everyone would have seen him in this little airport. You just go as a Lyft driver. Anyone who's been driving for Lyft and Uber there, you know in Santa Barbara Airport, it's nothing. You, you, they're like, people are all like getting there two hours early, right, from the big cities, right? Uh, well, and they're like, what gate? Where do I walk? I just go, well, if you just walk straight ahead and that person's going to be serving you wine and cheese and like, you know, putting you in these special hovercrafts and they're still nervous oh my god oh my god it's like no 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 you're gonna see this is not like any other airport in the world so it would have been they would have noticed him and somebody like myself maybe perhaps did notice him but you should have like cc and stuff you're the journalist right you're the one who did that yeah, you think I'm talking to one of my characters. No, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to a journalist of sorts online who's younger than me, who is upsetting me because they're like my nephew, right? They're my nephew telling they don't want to listen to me. My nephew telling me any of those, they can gang up on me. They know it. 
All seven of those nephews, I've taken them all on. They don't mess with me anymore. They just listen and they take it like my subscribers. So, you don't send me out here where you... Well, who do you think that Super 8 movie film is for, buddy? Who do you think that red wig is for? Right? Who do you think is rewriting the script? Right? Because you didn't keep any of it on that key fob that you could have gotten and just, no, you didn't want to do any work. Oh, he's going to have me, you know, <laughs> tag some of these things and put them in an order. I'm going to have to think, um, I don't have time for this. I don't have time to be doing this thing that I do so much better than him, which is computers, right? I'm explaining to him. You don't know. 720 has nothing to do with, you know, FPSs. That's foops and that's, you know, frames per minute. What do you know about frames per minute, nephew? You're in the other thing. Yeah, you're in the 720 thing. I'm taking... Uh, I'm going to go get some movie film, Super 8. Spielberg used it. Lucas used it. We all used it. Ah, what's that other thing? Mr. Bill. I'm doing Mr. Foot. Mr. Foot and Bill Cosby's Blackhead. It's just all the colors of Play-Doh mixed together. It's a black ball. It's a blackhead. And then this very dirty foot. I know you're saying that's racist. No, no, no. It's a, it's a PSA for, um, for blackheads, like squishing them. And, uh, you know, get, get that poison out of your body. And the pandemic, right? Uh, let's wash our feet too. That's what I've been trying to tell everyone. I said, it's fine with the hands. But if we're all walking with these flip-flops and everyone's looking down going, oh my God, shouldn't we be like Jesus and just let Jesus wash our feet and then feed us some bread? Yes. The and bread of affliction. You see that? They agreed with me. That was the AM radio. They just went, yes. And they're off. They don't care about me. This is all about caring. All right, my hair looks really messy. I'm going to try to brush my hair again. And put on that jacket. And then uh, maybe go in there. There's still, now there's a couple people. Maybe they're just drinking chai. All right, almost out of this crack. All right. So I'm going to stop this one. And we're just going to do our meditation. Everyone take some private time. You know, a little personal time. Take a personal. We're all going to take... How many? Whatever number, pick it. Everyone pick a number. There you go. Divide it. Pi R square it. All right. What's that number? That's as much as your character can sleep. So everyone take some sleep time, nap time, or read uh, a chapter, not the handbook of Thomas Grant P.I., not his handbook. We can't touch it anymore, right, people? It leaves our hands dirty. That's not good journalism. We don't want to get back into Nixon and Hoover again, right? That's on another video that you guys slept through. How can I do this game in 24 hours suicide hotline prevention game, right? I'm almost done with the game. I gave you the numbers. I got like four more hours to live. This is the movie. What are you guys? And you're sleeping through it. Well, then Jim Morrison, right? <laughs> you know, I don't know what he gets. He's having a beer with his bros, right? And then he's in his, you know, he's playing some pool. And then suddenly, they were like, what? That he can't possibly be playing on an official table because uh, bars usually only have the American-sized billiard tables, right? You see, it's, there's always these little clues that you go, that was not good journalism, Mr. Stone, right? Uh, you might have been stoned while those lights were going off in slow motion during your The Doors movie, right? Light my fire, dude, I'll show you. Nah, I'm just joking. I'm just, you know, I'm doing that scene. I'm first of all, you know, you talking to me. So I'm going to do this, Benedict, at one, one point. You know, it's that same thing, like, say my name, that one. I'm just going to be like, say my name. You're talking to me, say my name. You're talking to me, you're talking to me, say my name. Something like that. All right, I have to get into the zone, people. So all of us find our special places and go there 
and I will try not to annoy you for a little bit in the game. You guys can just level up, decide what you're putting in your backpack for this voyage, and maybe help me clean the car. That's all I'm expecting from you. And hopefully, if it works out, we will have food and adventure. If not, we'll have nothing, but we will be going home with our tail between our legs, very proudly, with a key fob. We found the key fob. If we make that the original goal, another miracle was done. Let's pray for that. I love you people. Talk to you later.